everybody, it's Kenzie Knox and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be painting Joni Young's, let's see, How to Paint Hopes and Dreams step-by-step -step acrylic painting. And so hopefully this will be fun. I've got my canvas behind me. It's a larger size canvas today. I'm not used to working on such a large canvas, but we'll see um, how it goes. It should be quite exciting. She was live yesterday and I got to watch it. So that was pretty cool. And I got to interact with her and it was super exciting. So thank you, Joni, for taking the time and hi if you ever see this which you probably will never see this but um right now i'm actually in a storage compartment area because i'm in the process of moving some things around and um this is where i have to work and this is my quiet space so i'm thinking free and clear and let's just get to painting yay so to get started today i am working on 11 by 14 size canvas so it's a bit larger than I'm used to, but because of the amount of detail in this video or this tutorial, I thought it would be the best size for this painting. I'm going to be starting in the background using this large brush. This happens to be a two and a half inch flat brush. I'm going to get it. Okay, so some of the colors I'm going to add to my palette. She starts off with um, get your titanium white down there, and then we have our phthalo blue. So add your phthalo blue. Okay, and then she says. Um, I feel like violet is next, so I'm going to use um, this violet purple. Okay, so blue violet, which is for me, I use a cobalt uh, hue, which is somewhere here. Um, I'm actually going to use blue kazoo for that color, so I'm going to do that. Right, and then let's see. Turquoise aqua green, which is a lighter green turquoise color. So, ah, here we go. My aqua green. So, this color this is a beautiful color. Very nice color. Titanium white, light olive green, neon yellow. Oh my gosh, she starts out with so many colors. Okay, so we got aqua green, and then we need our marsh green. You can get marsh green by mixing yellow and black if you'd like. Okay, so, oh, here's a marsh green. There you go. Or an olive green. And then she uses a light yellow. So I'm going to grab my light yellow. Just right here. And just bright yellow, actually, for me. Neon yellow warm. Neon yellow warm, which I like to use. Um, oh my gosh, I have so many colors. I forgot I had this many colors. This is absolutely amazing. I love it so much. I am... Um, I've been spending some time at home painting with a very limited color palette and I am so excited to have so many colors available even though you don't need to it's just so nice to have them so for my warm yellow I used to use apricot um, let me see where is my apricot so, you know I'm gonna try this mustard yellow this looks nice warm yellow I haven't used mustard yellow yet Okay, and then we're going into our neons. So neon orange. Oh, where's my neon orange? Oh. Okay, so I got my neon orange. Neon red and neon pink. Okay, so I don't have neon red, but I do have a neon. Um, hold on, let's see. So neon orange, neon pink. I do have neon pink, but let's see. I'm actually going to add neon yellow to my palette because this might be the color of the yellow, um, yellow cool that she uses, um, or maybe not. Um, I've got my neon pink. And for red, for the neon red, I don't have it, so I'm just going to add like a apple tart red or just some bright red color that I have. Um, one red color I have is this one, which is just red, but um, it's not that bright. Oh, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go with crimson. So I've got crimson. I'm going to use crimson. Hopefully that works well. We'll see. I'll use my crimson and I'll put down some red. Oh, there goes the sniffles. Okay. Yay! We have our colors. Okay, so she's using a two and a half inch flat brush. And she's getting it wet. Okay, so for this process, I'm going to start out with a one inch flat brush because my canvas is a bit smaller than hers. And as we're getting it wet, I'm going to use this spray bottle right here. 
And as for my palette, it's full of colors and it looks gorgeous. Just look at this thing. It's full of colors. It's so great. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and wet my canvas and spray it down with my spray bottle. Okay. Okay, so she starts with her blue violet, so I'm going to grab my violet color, and I'm gonna just going to start up in the left-hand corner and just start putting that on. And it looks a little bit different than her color, but that's perfectly fine. This is just the color that I'm working with. It doesn't have to be exactly matching to hers. So it'll still come out great. So next, we'll be using our blue kazoo color, and we're just going to be painting that around the halfway point and pulling that around the canvas. Um, mine looks a little bit thinner than hers. I think she has thicker paint than I do, but that's still okay. We'll just make multiple layers of paint if we need. And so we're just going to continue pulling this paint um, down on this corner, the left corner, and bringing this up to the right side towards the middle. Oh, I love painting. It's been such a long time, and this is just so great. So bring that up towards the midpoint, and we're kind of blending it out a little bit, but not too much. And I'm just going to pause her because I just need to add more blue, violet, or blue kazoo color. But it's fantastic. It carries a lot of paint in the body of the brush. You can see it's right there in the middle. It doesn't really want to come off, but that's okay. The paint doesn't really want to stick to the canvas either because it's so wet. So, oops, my bad. But that's okay. Okay, so then... I'm going to rinse my brush because she's picking up um, turquoise next. So now picking up that aqua green color, we're going to start up on towards the right top corner and work our way down, trying not to blend into the purple too much because we don't want the colors to blend each other out and cancel each other out. And so we'll just bring this down the canvas until we're at the bottom. And once we're done that, we're just going to grab a little bit of white. And so I'm just going to take that white and I'm going to bring it into the aqua green just slightly just to soften it up a little bit so that the transition of colors isn't so harsh. Colors, some darker shades. I'm going to take some of my pale blue now with a turquoise, a little bit of white. And so now I'm just going to take some phthalo blue, some turquoise, and some white. And I'm just going to take this color and just start down here. And we're just going to just start blending this in. I'm working with some thicker body paints and some thinner body paints. So it's kind of tricky mixing these paints together. Um, this is probably just something that <laughs> is just a problem for me. Just because I haven't painted in just a little bit. And you forget how to paint on canvas uh, if you don't paint on canvas all the time. Um, so I'm just bringing this color up along the right edge and just darkening up that side of the canvas. Some more phthalo blue. So it looks like our dark point is going to start like yeah. right here. And it gets darker yeah, with that phthalo blue just down just here. Some of that okay, we're taking this slightly going over that purple. The phthalo blue. Like the other blue isn't really being dark. Where we want it to be. Come on, the other blue. There we go. Okay, I think before I soften, which I don't actually know. Oh no, I don't know what my paintbrush is. Okay, so I'm going to actually add some turquoise, that turquoise color in here because it just got kind of um, wetted out for some reason. I don't really know why it's not really sticking out and I want it to. And I haven't looked at, th I, I mean, I obviously looked at the end photo, but I don't have it as a reference photo. Um, I don't have the ability right now. I just have two devices with me. <laughs> okay, so now she's just softening out everything. So I'm just going to take... This little, um, it's like an angular brush. And I'm just going to soften out, just circle very lightly. Very, very lightly. So it does pull off paint, so be careful. This is a forearm workout, actually. <laughs> this is very interesting. So when you take a brush like this and you're softly blending out the colors, it actually creates um, 
an airbrush like effect which uh, looks great on background of paintings and actually moves paint around too and picks up some paint and transfers it so be careful when you're um, softening up any of the colors because you can mix up colors and you might get a color you might not want it might not be a desirable color so just be gentle and careful where you go and you can always stop and pick up another blending brush that's clean and ready to go and start um, blending it out if you need to Okay, now she took, I don't think I even need to do this part right now with the, I will take a little bit of white though and add, put the same, I just wiped it off because I don't have another one to use available to me right now. So I'm going to grab some purple, what color purple do we use here, this purple? I'm just going to add more color. My color looks faded. It's probably the difference between a really better quality paint. <laughs> so now it's very straight. Like you can see the. Okay, so I can really see these marks in here, and that's what we were trying to get rid of. But that's okay. We'll get rid of them. But I just wanted to add, like, kind of like another layer of paint. So I'm actually gonna go. I'm just rubbing it off on a towel, like a paper towel. Just like rubbing. Now I'm gonna pick up um, some violet that we worked with first. And I'm just gonna mix that back in because that really lost its color. It really watered out. Again, try to clean off as well as possible without getting it wet. Unless you have another brush, you can use another brush. Okay, and I am gonna grab a little bit more of that blue kazoo, that um blue, that middle color blue that we used. I'm gonna try to bring that out a little more. So it's really not. Maybe I just didn't grab enough paint, but I just feel like I didn't didn't really cover anything. So I'm gonna dry it off again. Hopefully this time. Really dry. And I don't know, I might have just spritzed my canvas a little bit too much. Because it really doesn't seem to want to dry. <laughs> I really wish it would. Okay, so we're just gonna move forward. I'm gonna go ahead and wash off my brush. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this little angular mop brush that I have and I'm just going to pick up some phthalo blue and some aqua blue and just a little bit of white and I'm just going to start mixing it up on this um, upper left corner of our canvas and I'm just going to drag it down the left side just a little bit. So now I'm just going to soften this up. And I'm going pretty rough because I let this sit for about a minute or two just to let it dry out. And I want to go grab my other brushes. Um, so it's kind of stuck where it is, but it's okay. So we got that darker color over there. I'm going to go back in with the blue kazoo and kind of put that back on there. I knew we were going to need another layer of that in there. I'm pulling off paint. I'm just gonna stipple that on. It does not want to go on nicely, not today. Okay, and then I'm just taking some of that 
phthalo blue and I'm just going to swirl that on um, the canvas just over in this area and then back up over to the left side and up the canvas for some reason my paint was not transferring from my brush to my canvas so I dabbed my brush into just a little bit of water and added the paint so we're grabbing another brush and grabbing a little I bit of white from the top here. a little bit more white grabbing just a little white and we're just going in over here oops that's a lot of white I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here and so I'm just going to take this white paint and just soften up this upper left corner and um, just see what happens because I'm not sure if I'm doing this right or not. And I'm just going to keep swirling and swirling and pulling out this paint um, to create an airbrush-like effect. And so just gently swirling, or it looks like I'm partially swirling, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> so now I'm going to grab my size 8 filter brush. I believe she's using a 4 filter brush. But this is the size that I have available. So we're going to create these scoops, I believe, in the clouds. So now I'm going to take my filler brush with some aqua and some white. And I'm just going to create these little scoops over here in this upper left corner. Okay, so now she's taking some white and some pink. So white and then yeah, pink. And then, and then I just I'm going to take more neon pink, pink than white. And, start to do it and then she does a little bit skirt. quicker before that paint can dry. And you kind of and just scoop. develop a little bit of a rhythm this way. Scoop, scoop, scoop. I'm going to pull it right into that turquoise. I'm it bigger. And so each color kind of transitions into the one before. Try to keep um, your paint, I think, on the tip of your brush maybe that might help got a little bit of red here too so that'll Ooh. give us now we're gonna add a little bit of that red pink. i'm gonna try just red and then it looks like around the halfway point she starts going like down this way straight pink and make this a little bit more colorful And it starts coming over. Keep in mind, it's all gonna dry a little bit darker than when it's going on. It's like getting bigger at first. I don't know if they're gonna start going this way. I assume they will. It's so so much fun to use your imagination. Okay, more pinks. When painting, not having anything in mind, mm. and just relying on whatever happens Scoops. to come to you while you're painting. Take a little bit of time and practice. Okay, so I'm now take the rest take of my some violet, violet over here with some white. Her violet's a little uh, a lot lighter than mine, so I get redder Not than mine. Lot, so I'm gonna take my violet and my white. I can use a little bit, and I'll just start adding. Yep, and she's starting to go this way, so the other direction. Over here, as I transition into, which apparently I have issues orange. making that shape. <laughs> I like the way the orange, this shade of orange. Getting more in white particular. and purple. These are by the Holbein uh, brand. If you're curious, you can find these on Amazon. So we'll start adding some soft little scoops here. Oops. Now she's uh, brand, I'm gonna wash my brush. Curious. I don't know if she grabbed an orange. Orange. I like the way the orange, this shade of orange in particular. So, neon orange and white. Uh, brand, if you're and curious, orange, white. You can find these on Amazon. Mix those two together. Those are nice, we'll very nice soft white. Little scoops here. I'm trying to get that brush out of the body of your, uh, the paint out of the body of your brush, or um, you'll get globs. You might get globs. You might not. <laughs> and it looks like she starts where she started the purple ones. And she's just adding little scoops. And turning. And we're... Smaller and smaller and tighter together like this. Turning. As they go in. Oh, they're getting smaller this way. 
it'll draw us into oh, the Oh, okay. I thought we were going big to small, but focal point. like um, bigger. I don't know why. Totally did that wrong. And you can always go back and soften some areas a little so bit So they're going to get bigger as they so get farther they away. With a damp brush. Can we get a little water on my brush? Take a little the bit of neon yellow. Take some neon yellow with my white. With some white. I'll start. Oops, I went in a little here. farther than she did. I Overlap can't tell where she left off. She's starting these little little guys, little little sweeps. Then creating larger scoops. My yellow isn't really showing up as well as hers. Um, and we're starting to change direction here. And this is, ooh, I feel like I'm too far in. I feel like I need to be farther Don't back. Don't be afraid to overlap. The more you layer it, the more where the yellow. in depth it'll look in 3D. Okay, I'm going to come around this side now. Back over to my pink. A little bit of pink and white again. Okay, I'm gonna grab some orange and white. You can see just as we've been working on this side, it's Oops. already drying darker over here. Need some more orange and white strips. You using the tip of your brush. Take advantage of the filbert brush and its round little uh, crescent moon end it has to it. Let the brush do the work. Let's make some smaller ones in here. I might have gone too far um, back this way. I'm not really sure. But let's grab back to our pink, she said, I believe. And I did drive down. Here's the little scoops. Just little guys. I'm gonna go into my warm yellow now. Okay, so the warm yellow, which is my mustard yellow, and some white. A little bit of warm yellow and the white. The paint is already starting to dry. I should use maybe extender. Okay, so yellow and white, and that looks like it's around the halfway point over here. I can't tell. A little bit of orange. Mix that up. Let's zoom us in. Mine looks more neon. Why is mine so neon? Okay, I'm going to switch over to a smaller brush. This is a number two round brush. Get a little bit of water on it and some more red. Red and white. Okay, so round brush, number two, I believe she's in. Oops, I'm inside your brush. A little bit of water on there. Dry it off and put that aside. Right. And let's grab our number two round brush. Which I don't even know what size the number two round brush is. So I'm just going to grab a round brush that looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and I'm going to grab my orange. I'm going to take my turquoise and my phthalo. And start doing little guys here. Oh, much easier. I'm definitely going with this round brush. I'm going to make it a bigger. A little bit of white on there. You know, I'm going to cut out more. Make these bigger. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just add some more in here. More of that white and, and yellow, a little yellow. bit of water. I'm gonna need some water for these smaller, delicate brushes to really help work that paint out. Rinse out my brush real quick. And she added some aqua, I think, aqua and white. I don't know if I missed that part, but it looks like aqua and white over here. These big, scoopy clouds. Maybe just aqua. I can go over those. Uh, 
Uh, for my sunrays, I'm going to be using my number 12 flat brush with a little bit of water first to start. And I'm going to take some white. It is I'm so blue too. So that yellow um, warm with a little bit of red violet color. Orange. Well, let's go ahead and take a little bit of yellow cool in there. So Ooh, both yellows, white. white, and a little bit of orange. Okay, I'm going a little rogue here. I'm trying to catch up to where she is. So I'm adding that blue kazoo with that, um, that purpley color to some of this. Okay, so I'm going to zoom that out. And I am going to add... Okay, so now I can see where we are and I need some more of these scoops down over this way. Just a little bit here and there. And then just a little bit more over here. Just get to the pinks. Okay. We need a lot more orange. And I'm just going to go in with the orange because my orange and white isn't really showing up. But I really want these little guys to show. Remember that they get bigger the farther away they are from you. Rinse out my brush. I'm gonna grab some new and yellow. Maybe over some of these guys over here. You do need to add white the first time or else you won't see them really. Okay. You know what it looks like? It's more like orange over here. You should be orange and only the yellow should be just in there. And we're just overlapping into the colors. Okay, and then let's grab that orange, just the orange with our brown brush and we're going to add just some oranges over here. And then she gets onto the neon yellows over there. So I'm just grabbing some orange again and we're just coming in to You can see how they fade so quickly the color, that neon color. Okay, and then that gets more yellow, so we're going to take the brush. Now we're going to grab the yellow, so just the yellow. And we're going to go over these big guys, and the smaller ones, and even these little ones. So it looks like her painting, the yellow comes up this way, all the way up. I need some more yellow. And almost over this way, okay. And then <laughs> hers is much more um, circular. Mine is kind of hobbled into itself, <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Um, yep. And then we're going to take that yellow and white, and we're just going to come over to about there and draw these ones over this way. And then inside your brush. Take some of that pink and white if you want. We're gonna do some of these again so that they stand out. Just grab some pink. We didn't really make any little pink ones, so we can make some smaller pink ones. Just so that it's in proportion. You really do need some water on your brush, especially if your paint's starting to dry like mine. You need a media extender. I don't know where it is. I was just so excited to paint, I just grabbed my palette and my paintbrushes and just dove on in. <laughs> okay, so I think we can start now. Start. Rinse out your brush. Ooh, are we using black brush? So put that brush away. So now I think we're going to take a flat brush and we're going to go ahead and take, well, I'm going to take my um, 
actually, I haven't used this guy in a long time. I'm going to miss him. My number 12 angular brush. This guy right here. I'm going to go ahead and get him wet. Uh, for my sunrays, I'm going to be using my number 12 brush. Oh, I'm creating sun brush. Oh, she's using a number 12 flat brush. I have a number 12 um, angular and I'm gonna brush. I'm going to take some white. So, I need more white. My... Yellow warm, yellow cool, and a little bit of her neon orange, and then some white. Mix that all in together. Okay. Some water to help make it nice and transparent, and to help that paint flow. We got a very orangey tone here. I don't know if that's right. Yeah, it looks right. Okay, I'm gonna start. It's like this color. If you can see that, oh, that's great, sorry. In the center here, we need a little bit more Okay, water. and we need to water that down a lot. So add, dunk it in water and tap off the drips. Tap it off on a towel even. Test it on your palette a little bit. Okay, so now we're going for the center. Wow, she's brave. She just goes in for it. So, out. out. Just work your way out. Getting up some more water on my brush. Some more water on my brush. Tap off the drip. Oh, am I not supposed to go down? I don't know. I'm supposed to. And I'm just gonna do these hard strokes for like these sunburst effects. Hers is a little more orange than mine, but that's okay. Using a number 10 dagger brush, I'm not really sure what that is, but she's making blue. waterfalls. So taking her little bit dark to start, blue. Later, I don't know if I can use the same brush or not. I might have to switch up to another yeah, little, little angular brush. So I'm use my little one inch angular brush. And then this brush. If you want Get it wet. Coming from a little bit higher from the other side, you're going to turn and have that pointy upright side. So we're grabbing some phthalo blue. Always on the outside. It's a lot easier. My bristles are stiff. That's weird. Okay, so um, this is kind of scary. Okay, so we're just going from the center, and we're just going to pull and pull. I don't have enough paint. I need more water. I'm using thick body paint for my phthalo blue, so oh, make sure you wet it. All right, so pull and drop, and pull and drop. And this is really wet. Okay, so tap off that a little bit on my towel. And pull and drop, pull and drop. And then up here, pull and drop, pull and drop. Without washing my brush off too much. And pull and drop. With some white. And then I'll start overlapping. Turn my brush over. Blue. And then we're going to have one here. And then I'm going to have another one. This level over here. I'm going to extend that a little bit. Pull and drop. Pull and drop. Okay. So now grabbing some white. And add some turbulent water. I want to add a little bit of movement. Make it really feel like... Just got those and ripples drop. and cascading waterfalls. And just shake a little bit. And you can go over them as much as you want. See, make a little mistake like I did there. I think I'm happy with that. As I'm dropping from up higher. Oh, wow, it's just higher. Okay, so. Layers and layers. I just need some more water on my brush. My paint is drying so fast on me. So she's got more that are up higher that are just falling. I'm going to have to add some movement down water, here where it's going to last. I'm going to take a little bit of turquoise and white. Over this way and over this way. 
Leave it over here. Start cutting in. Even this over here. I believe. Kind of flicking up like this, creating. Oh, I'm just cutting some of the middle here. Down there, bit of a splash. I'm lost now. And I need some more white. Okay, so we're grabbing some more white. Soften that area. Pause that. So she's got a little waterfalls in the here. The one coming this way. Some over here. And then uh, she's got some more. She's got one, two, and this one. Let's do one more right here. And then. Maybe one over here. And this one. Over here, and this one over there. Oops, I just covered one up. So I'm going to take that dark blue, that phthalo blue, and recreate one that I feel like we lost in here. And over here. And then we'll cut in some white on top of those so that they look like they're showing a bit more. And this guy disappeared too. We lost him. That's all right. There he is. Okay. Yeah. And hers fell down a lot farther than mine. So I'm gonna take some thermal blue, pull it down. A little bit brighter. Some white. I think I'm just using some, some more white. Some blue. Okay, I'm just gonna rinse out my brush real quick. I feel like it's a lot stiffer than it should be, and I don't know why. Usually, I love this brush. Turquoise and white. Okay, so now we're gonna take some turquoise and some white. You know, what, I'm gonna switch up my brush. To this um, black brush, but it's very um, narrow at the tip. So it comes to, like a point at the tip. Okay, so we're taking some aqua and white. And she just does this so effortlessly. So like right where I thought. Both directions. She's just creating these splashes so they come up and up. And that's the aqua and white. So I'm going to go just going to soften that area there. Oops, I need her to go back. Okay. And then she's just got some, like, waves over here. And then this water comes out this way. And up in here. And I am just drawing lines everywhere. Just to show some movement. Okay. And then... Um, I'm going to take some of that too. She said she went splashing upwards, so these we want splashed up. Take that, I believe. Okay. She adding that into her water too? And another layer. A little Maybe bit brighter. Is, so a little bit aqua, a little bit of white. I'm just using some more white. And she's going up into these. Which I might have another one drop here. I need some thayla real quick. Get that guy. A little. Little dad and little more here. present. Little flicks. That aqua. Grab some more aqua and white. Okay, now I'm gonna add a log here. So, so I'm just gonna kind of 
probably I'm here and do this. I'm gonna take a combination of black. I'm just gonna take some white and burnt sienna. And, just... and I think I'll have it uh, right from here to here. Keep in mind we're gonna go over uh, the sides. Right, and maybe even like a really white, just white. Can't wait to cover this in moss. Really make it stand out from the background. Okay, and then add some turbulence. Just, just flick it up. Push and flick. Push, flick. Push, flick. <laughs> Push and flick. <laughs> I believe. Make it a little bit thicker. Oh, okay. So we're gonna rinse out my brush. We need some brown now. Uh, right to here. So I'm gonna, gonna grab gonna go some burnt umber. I'm gonna use that same brush. And I'm going to wash it off, dry it off, and then we're going to draw really this stand out from log the background. that goes, um, I can't tell, it's zoomed in. It looks like halfway up our waterfalls, and our waterfalls aren't that high, hers look longer than mine. Okay, so it's like from here, it peaks up a little bit, and then comes down, I think. Maybe a little bit thicker. Oh, her clouds end here. Okay, I might have to I'm fix this area. Some of that paint on my brush. Okay, and then the log goes almost all the way all over, but I'm just not gonna start up over here. It does. Okay. So grabbing some olive green. around the edge. A little bit more water. I don't know what she's doing here. Oh, over here. Creates some beautiful depth in here, doesn't it? I'm gonna travel over here and make a little pathway. Right away, I'm gonna take some more of that olive green. Okay, olive green. So brilliant. Some of that off. My brush, dry my brush off, and then just below here, I need a little bit more depth, so I'm going to take a little bit of my black and brown, just pull and flick down like this. Okay, black and brown. I'm just using my brown for now, and I don't trust my brush that as well as my, she trusts oh, hers. <laughs> I'm going to grab my little angular brush, like a quarter inch angular brush, this brush here. You can see that, and I'm going to grab some brown. Clean my brush off, go into and my I'm just gonna light pull yellow and white with a bit of that green. I'm going to pause her. And this brown goes all the way over, so it's over. It will naturally create um, a gradient or a, um, a tail on one side than the other. So remember to pull it down. Or maybe just work on the tip of the brush. Maybe that's what I'll do. I forget how to paint, guys. It's been a while. <laughs> I've been locked up in my room, well, not my room, but my house, just cleaning and organizing and moving stuff, and I haven't had a chance to paint, and you really do lose the skills if you don't um, use them, so I apologize if my painting is not as up to par as it should be, so I'm adding a little yellow, warm, or 
Is it yellow? What do yellow? Cool? Oh, I added yellow cool to my green, uh, marsh green, and I'm trying to highlight the path, but I think it's a little wet. But something I did want to do before I did that is fix this area. So, her clouds ended right where the log is. So I'm going to take some aqua just to fill this in real quick. comes all the way down. So I'm gonna get some water on my brush, tap off the drips, dig into that aqua. Come down to here. Okay, and then we're gonna grab our Thalo Blue. Blend it in. There we go. Okay. Rinse out your brush. Let's see here. So I'm going to take a little more aqua. Scoop it downwards. Her aqua looks like it kind of might come over here. So let's put a little aqua over there. Okay, now we're gonna inside our brush again. I need to add black to my palette. I haven't even added black. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back over the log. So she had black and brown, which I didn't get to do. So I'm just mixing up some black and some brown. And now we're just gonna go over that log. Oh, so much better. Oh, much better, okay. I'm sorry, I just need to see this a little lighter. Okay. And you can sort of just disappear back there. And so, she's just adding yellow. I'm going to add some neon yellow. I don't know if this will be a good thing or a bad thing, but we'll see. And I'm just adding on the tip of my angular brush. As it gets over here, it's going to be a bit darker. And then I'm going to add some more neon yellow just over here. I'm gonna add some white to this just so I can actually lighten it up a bit. And then we'll go back in with those warm yellow. Actually, it looks like a yellow cool. I can't tell. Mm, I'm gonna use the medium yellow color. We'll wait until that dries. <laughs> I'm not brave enough. Okay, so I'm going to use here as well. for this step a um, mini little mop brush that I've got. This little guy here. You can see him. And I'm going to take some of that marsh green. And we're going to add on top of it. Of course, mine's uh, wet because I just painted it. So I'm actually dries. nervous. Uh, I'm going to come back over here. Add to this path. My little round I can't the other side here. have some light and moss. Oh, she makes it seem so easy. <laughs> 
Okay, let's just be brave. I'll just light that up back there. Be brave, we can do this. Okay, we're just gonna tap. I wanna add and tap. Uh, a little bit of black. I want some moss. I can't tell. My lighting in here really is anything. awful. I'm so I sorry. Really I've got like as much light as possible. Really natural. Okay, I'm grabbing some more marsh green. Take a little bit more Please here. Tapping. I'm actually taking a lot of moss green because I really want it on there. I and want it to show. A little bit more black this time. So some of them are going to be okay. and then a little bit darker. I'm going to grab... I don't, did she add white or yellow to that? I'm going to add some yellow warm. Cool? Yellow cool. Sorry guys if this is completely wrong. And remember, wrong. it will dry a bit darker too. So don't just use straight black. Just gonna highlight some of these areas. I don't know where the light is coming from. I guess it'd be coming from the back. So we just want the top. Highlighted maybe. I think some pretty flowers to those after. I need that to dry though. So as that's drying, okay. let's head over to a large stipple brush. This is so many guys have been asking. This is a number I'm ten color and softer. Set that aside. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this brush. Um, go back to my angular brush. This one is just really nice. I just need to go. Actually, I'm gonna have. Sometimes it's easier just okay. to see it. And then paint it. So I'm going to stop it at a certain point. I'm going to take my angular brush and we're going to draw down some moss. So I'm going to grab that marsh green and we're just going to do on the tip of my brush. I'm just going to do some wiggles, some zigzags, and some wiggles down here. I can't really see it. That's on there. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's try that again. And we'll have another one. Oh, and they're just randomly pulling down. Okay. So we're just pulling, pulling, and pulling. And then we're gonna have one longer one trailing down here. Ooh, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> it's just gonna trail down to a point. I can be thicker up here. Okay, and then have some smaller ones here. And I'm just using the marsh green right now. Then we'd have some here, just hanging down, and then some over here hanging down, and then over here we're going to have some hanging down too. There, one here, one here, and a few here. And then see if you like it. It hasn't even gone straight. I don't even know where it's going to. I'll turn that into one. Okay, I think we have our moss. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that yellow warm color, or cool, sorry, yellow cool. It looks like she just went straight in with the yellow cool, honestly, so I'm just gonna highlight some of the stuff here. This is still with my angular brush. And then it looks like she just just highlights some of it. I can't really tell where she's highlighting. I don't even know if she did this. Oh, 
Although knowing Joni, she probably definitely highlighted and um, there's going to be highlights and lowlights or shadows. Not lowlights. I'm <laughs> thinking hair. So it's going to go down this guy's side. And just pull that down, pull that down. Okay, and then we want to take that yellow and now we're going to come back over here and warm up our path that we let dry. Okay, and then we'll see how we like that. Oh, that's just sad. Some more of this yellow. I've been painting on paper lately and I forgot what it's like to paint on canvas, believe it or not. It is so different, so different. And it's like water just, um, there is like no water. When you paint on paper, it's like you can't really work with it because it absorbs so much water that the paint's almost, not instantly dry, but it's instantly intact and you can't move it around. Let's head over to a large stipple brush. This is, so many guys have been asking, this is a number 10. Colorantic is the company or the brand and it's an oval stipple brush. This one's like, it's a lot stiffer than... See, I have this a stipple one brush. Here. This one's tall. So I think we're taking marsh green, which I'm running out of. Okay, so now I'm taking my stipple brush, which is a very stiff stipple brush. You've been like taking a little down. bit of my burnt sienna. Yes, I'm pushing and pulling. Because when I'm using a little bit of phthalo blue, it's going to make my green a little bit more on the phthalo green side. So to cut that from happening and to stop that, I'm, or tone it, I guess, I'll use some of that brown, that burnt uh, sienna. Okay, I want to go... And right over the edge here. Oh, okay. Um, Bring that down there. I have this color arbor green that I'm going to use. Let's see if this will work. Over this side. I'm running out of room on my palette here. Right and I got a hunter green, a little bit darker. Again, you can just make these colors with yellow and black. Okay, so. This color is just like just pull a sweep down here. So you can use this brush a few different ways. I don't know. Okay, and so we're coming in over here. This is hunter green that I'm using. It's like a very green green color, but it's dark. And I'm going to mix in uh, maybe some. I really never know what shade I want or what color I want. And you know what? I'm going to use this over here on the other side. It's actually, we'll see how that looks. And then she really came in. I'm going to mix. I wish I had a darker. I'm going to add some black to that green here. So I added black to my hunter green down. Let's see if we like that. Take a look at your canvas. Sometimes it's easier to look through a camera too and then you can tell if you like it or not. I'm going to add some black to that other green color, that auburn green color. That's more of a mossy green color. So I'm getting a dark moss green and I'm gonna add that now over here. And up into here. I'll carefully do a little bit on this side too. I don't wanna cover up all that pretty purple that we've got in there though. Along the bottom here. The purple that we've got in there, though. And I'm going to sweep along the bottom here. Okay, so sweeping along the bottom. All along the bottom. Oh, 
and the other paint. Are you going to sort of frame this dark foliage okay, frame? Okay, I'm just going to add really black to draw our eyes and that marsh more. green. Okay, I'm finished with that brush now, and I'm going to go over bit of blue. Over to my angle brush and just with a little bit of water slide and sweep and just out this dark green oh, mixture that I just added. green and we've got a little bit of grass or moss down here at the bottom let's take a little bit of white with it just mm -hmm. a tiny bit highlight that with some yellow here she does her highlights so easily i never Oh, she does it. I must have the wrong colors sometimes. Okay, the next thing I want to do before anything else is mm -hmm. make this brighter and softer back here. And brighter, I mean with white and a few more sun rays. Okay, so I rinse out that brush. So I'm just going to go over. Okay, so now I'm using a little bit of white and some water. I'm going to use a little quarter inch angular brush. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Okay. So one inch angular brush. And I'm going to grab some, oh, I'm going to wet it. Tap off the drip. Grab some white. I'm going to go down to the bottom. And we're going to emphasize where these guys are landing. where the turbid sections are. And then I'm going to take some more white and come over this way. Oops, I need more water. Make sure it really has some wa water in there or else it may not be able to flow very easily. Okay. So then we're just adding some lines. Nice bright highlights here of moss. I'm going to be using a one inch oval or angle, sorry, angle mop brush. You can use any, so even a, just a filbert brush or a fan brush. Lots of water. Preferred choice. I love just it. Just a little bit of water. Yeah. It's white and water. We're just doing those sunbursts. Just white and lots of water. Set up. Neon yellow, a little bit of white. Okay, cool. Neon yellow. Cool yellow and a bit of white. Cool neon yellow. Really cool. Okay, and so I'm gonna make a little mixture of white and that cool neon yellow. That with that little stippling brush. Because it is. Or that little the eyeshadow brush. <laughs> and we're gonna add that neon yellow to the top of our guy here, but I think I need more warm yellow in my mixture. Mine doesn't look the right tone. Hmm. So I'm just taking the neon yellow without the white because it's just not the right color with the white. I don't know. Maybe it's the quality of the paint. I'll go with that. That's the reasoning. <laughs> okay, so now she's taking, um, I don't know what she's taking. I'm going to rub my brush out on my towel. Okay, so I'm going to take my burnt sienna. Tap that in with the green as well. Ooh, with the green. And this side is going to just kind of gradually get darker with that moss. Okay. Because it is on the other side. So it's going to be uh, more in shadow, right? 
take more of the bright, bright yellow there. We'll add a few areas here. Oh, she's bright. Did she just go Gradually use the same darker. brush? Was that moss? Oh, I need to get green. I need more on the other side, green. So. Okay, and then see if this will work for us. It's more white. Of light. Maybe that's the color we needed. So that's a Spanish olive green color. And a oh, that looks so much better to, for me, in my opinion. Okay, now I'm going to take those colors again. Let's see, I take that Spanish that's olive. Yellow. Flat I like that. my brush now. And I'm going to add some of that up here. So this is one way of doing it. And I'll probably use a few different brushes. So I'm going to pull, flatten. Ooh, she's green for her hands. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. No, I don't want to have to put this brush away. All right. Rinse out your brush. Okay, so rinse out your brush and dry it off. Set that aside. And then she's using an angular brush to create burns. I'm going to use... Oh, I haven't used this brush in a while. So this is a longer... Um, flat brush. I don't know what size it is, but um, we're going to see if this works. And I'm going to take some black, wet my brush first, take some black and some brown. Oops, my brush is way too wet. She does this so effortlessly. Oh, I can't, I wish I knew her thought process. Okay. So then she just comes down right to here. Then I just draw some ferns like that. And then I think she's doing another one here, over here. And then that one actually kind of looks fine. Okay, and then rinse out your brush. And we're gonna grab some of that Spanish olive green on top of our brush. And we're just gonna create some highlights real quick. Oh, let's go here. Wet on wet on a canvas is a lot different than wet on wet on paper. So I'm gonna use my angle brush next. Take a little bit of all those colors again: green, blue, red, sienna. And I'll pull out. And then take a look and see if you like it. And you can fix whatever you don't. Okay, and then oh, we're going to create another one up over here that just comes up and falls. You can ask going this way. Remember, you want to change it up so they don't all look the same. Okay, and grab a brown and black color. And then we're just gonna have a some bit of a highlight, there. just take a bit of white, this is light black yellow, and brown, or just way too green. All green. And then we can add a highlight. That Spanish olive color I'm using. You can create a little 
movement to them too, like ferns have, just by pulling, twisting, okay. activating that swirl. Washing that up real quick, and then I'm gonna grab some more of my hunter green. Grab some of that. Let's see if we can catch up here. So she's got this fern here. She's got a fern just coming up over this way, it looks like. I can't even see what I'm drawing in now. Can we even add a little point. bit of turquoise here, and that'll look quite beautiful too. And then. Oh, she moved her camera. Oh, she's wearing turquoise. Very beautiful. Okay, um, we have one, I think, coming down this way. What do we do now? <laughs> and then some and then... Just add little taps. I'm going to highlight that one with some with my olive green. There's just so much you can okay, do. And just then rinsing my brush out and rinse out your brush. Take a bit of like yellow is a little bit of green. Tap off the drips. Oh yeah, and we're going with that um aqua color, which her aqua, she must use meteor extender because mine is dry. Right so I need just a drop that on uh, aqua green blue. or turquoise and we highlight I don't know I'm just tapping and dabbing and, and then making up there's another little guy over here in my fantasy world here oh and then we got another green guy Coming out this way. Could have little ferns. Living on this log here. You know, lighting makes all the world a difference. And all I see is glare right now. It's really upsetting because I know this painting is beautiful in theory, but I can't see it. Oh, I know there is one guy over here that we need to highlight. He's just coming up over this way. And we can re-highlight my old friend down lower, this guy. The foreground looks a little dead. Like. It's my the world. This is going to be more green because this one looks brown and gross. <laughs> I like the aqua. So I'm going to stick with some more aqua color here. Okay, I'm going to add a few flowers down aqua. here. I've got all these pretty colors still, so I don't want to waste those. And I'm going to use a round brush. This one's a number five. Okay, and unfortunately at this point, uh, this will be the end of part one and part two video of this beautiful painting by Joni Young Art. And you can find her on YouTube. And I will have part two out soon. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.